pie We're the 99% We're here to occupy Here to occupy Starting on the corner with our tents A young man in a pickup truck Shouts out, hey, get a job what he doesn't know is most have to. But from these folks on the corner, just a smile and a little wave. Maybe soon we'll bring in someone new. Someone to occupy, here to occupy. We're the 99%. We're here to occupy, here to occupy. Starting on the corner with our tents. The Occupy song. Hey everybody! Hey Elliot! Come on over, we got your favorite state representative here. Bring your bodies with you, all the people under the tree. Leave the tree alone, come over here and listen. Bring your ears with you. This is your state capital, even though a lot of times stuff happens in your state capital that you don't like, that you don't want, that you don't need. But this is your place, you're welcome anytime, and you should be up here every now and then meeting with your state representative, meeting with your state senator, talking to them about issues that matter to you. In this case, peace. You also have to be in communication with your member of Congress and your United States Senator, especially when we're talking about peace because they make more decisions relating to peace in this country and the world than we do here. Although we deal with a lot of issues that I know you're concerned about. Let's say not going overboard on border security, not making it possible for many, many people to be injured or killed because they're trying to leave a bad situation to come to what is hopefully a better situation. But you need to know that this is your capital and there are issues that you care about that are being made. You all have heard about the expansion of the Medicaid program so that 1.5 million Texans, this may include some of you, would be eligible to get health coverage through the Medicaid program. Well, the governor, your governor, has said no. He said we will not participate. In my humble opinion, that's a short-sighted, mean-spirited, and financially irresponsible decision. Because if we don't expand the Medicaid program, which is authorized by the federal government, we forego, we lose listen to this, $91 billion, billion dollars in federal health care money. We won't get that money. It will go to other states. We also lose the opportunity to ensure 1.5 million of the 6 million people in this state who don't have any health coverage. And I bet most of you know that Texas has the highest rate, the highest percentage of uninsured people in the whole nation. So for two reasons, you need to come visit your state rep and your state senator. One is to talk about this issue, peace, but the other is to throw in, by the way, we should participate in the expansion of the Medicaid program. It's idiotic for us not to do that. So, well, I understand that. So. What you're doing is so important, it's so important. Keep it up after 
Stay in touch with your elected officials. Contact your member of Congress and the United States Senate. Let them know about this, because if you don't keep in touch on this issue, they'll think, well, nobody cares. I couldn't even blame the person that almost killed me and took me away from my children. And I came to that realization because if somebody came to my country and did what we're doing there, I would defend this land. That's what I swore to do when I joined the military. So when we're going over and we're occupying people's lands for 12 years, when we're doing a drone campaign to where 50 innocent civilians are killed for every one value target that we're trying to get, how do we not expect them to want to come back and hit us here? Iraq right now, they're saying the war is done, that it is over. It's not true. It's been privatized. The occupation continues and it continues through taxpayers' dollars, funding the war, privatized through civilian companies who are over there making all this money and killing people in our names. Yeah. So until we stand up and remove ourselves from the registry of people who support these wars and support what it's doing, not only there, but here at home to our veterans who come back with PTSD, who commit suicide, 22 veterans a day commit suicide because of post-traumatic stress disorder. That's all happening in the name of spreading peace and democracy. Support the troops. 75% in all polls show that the troops want us out of these wars. So if you support the troops, bring us home! What better way to support the troops and support this nation than ending occupations that were initiated unlawfully and against the will of the people who are actually there? So I invite you all to walk with us down in peace, listen to the rest of the music. Through education, we shall achieve peace. Thank you all. Yeah. If you see a world where the devil is the other guy and God is always on your side, the terrorist is one. And if you see a world we're showing them what's right from wrong means blowing them to kingdom come the terrorists have won the terrorists have won i mean the ones in washington if you sacrifice your freedom and your rights the terrorists have won the terrorists have won I mean the ones in Washington Don't give up the fight For the Bill of Rights Or oh, the terrorists have won The terrorists have won The terrorists have won The terrorists have won And we ain't gonna let them about not spending all our money killing other people, but taking care of our people at home, especially our mothers and our women, by golly, here in Texas. How dare they? How freaking dare they? I am so mad. And I wrote this song because I'm a peaceful person. All right. Thank you. Well, I was born in D.C., but I came to Texas as a little bitty baby, yeah. Yeah, I was raised in Texas, and I've left some exes in the heart of the Bible Belt. Well, I will tell you what, you better watch your stuff, because it's a very hard road to go. I am a sister to the women in trouble and need in the land of the Alamo. Cause I couldn't afford good care from the Borg who have taken over Texas, it seems my Lord, good Lord. Let's take the party crowns so I'm on the ground. If you 
you know, we got a lot of men who care, and our families are behind us here. And you better not mess with Texas women anyhow. Peace, love, and organic. <laughs> Um, I was once in the military. I used to support the wars. Um, and it took me a really long time to really uh, come to terms with the fact that these wars were not honorable and that they weren't doing anything good. And uh, ironically, I, I uh, allowed the death of one of my close friends, the guy who went to high school with me, also went to West Point with me, and got killed in Afghanistan. After he got killed, um, I went ahead and perpetuated you know, the lines that he was a hero, he was fighting for our freedoms. I didn't wake up at that point. 2008, 2009, I had my own personal philosophical, political, personal evolution, and I decided that I was going to spend a lot of my free time, my personal time, speaking out against the wars and trying to encourage other people to do the same. And the challenge with the wars, the challenge with uh, trying to convince people that the wars are bad are twofold. One is that we live in a society where you know, we just respect authority and we believe that the institutions that are set up are somehow honorable. And we believe that we should just go ahead and believe our masters and obey them and be patriotic. And being patriotic is supporting whatever the government does, whatever the, the elites decide is right for us. And that means sending our soldiers overseas to kill you know, people overseas and you know, not really caring about their lives. And the other problem is politics. And politics is a huge problem in our nation where we align ourselves with one party or the other and therefore we attack the other party for what they do but we ignore what our party does. So the notion that we're going to win this through politics just isn't going to work. We need to find better ways, new ways. We need to challenge the rhetoric of, of uh, soldiers are heroes. Okay? And there's a lot of soldiers that do brave things, but that doesn't make them heroes. If they go overseas and they're terrorizing other people, they're not heroes, okay? And we gotta challenge this stupid notion that we have to support our troops. Support our troops is just a really ridiculous way to get people to shut up about the war crimes, to get people to shut up about what's happening. So, so we have the issue overseas, and we have too many people who are afraid to speak up and, and you know, stand up against what's going on overseas. But the problem is, is that we have an occupying force in America that is funded by our taxpayer dollars. And that's called law enforcement. And I found out the hard way on New Year's Day 2012 when I saw two cops, Austin Police Department cops, assaulting a woman. I tried to stand up for her, take pictures, and shout at the cops. And he attacked me and charged me with a felony. And uh, fortunately for me, a lot of things can... Uh, worked out for me. There was a bunch of witnesses that stepped forward, video that came forward. Uh, the, it was obvious that the cop perjured himself. APD still pushed the case forward. And I'm still fighting it, but I'm going to be okay. But then a bunch of people came out and started telling me their own personal stories of abuse. The, the problem with the police is much the same as the problem with the, with the military. People are afraid to stand up to them. We launched a Peaceful Streets project as a way to fight back against the police, to record them, to share stories about what they do, and to change culture. Because we're not going to end these wars until we change the culture of society, until we get to the point where when you look at a soldier, you don't walk up to him and say, thanks for your service. You walk up to him and say, do you realize that what you're doing is evil? Do you realize who you work for? And until we have a society that does that, these wars aren't going to end. If we want peace, we need to fight for it here and abroad. And if we want peace, we have to change society and we have to change the way people think. Thank you very much. Support peace here and at home. Antonio Gill, Peaceful Streets Project. That's right. Keep the cameras on. Keep